Hello everybody, this is Wesley Ninja Senpai, back with another tutorial video. Aw yeah. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get and use Fabric Tasks, the mod I use to do all of my 1.16.1 tasks. Let's get into it. So first you're going to want to install Fabric. I'm going to link a tutorial down in the description on how to install Fabric, because it goes over it very nicely, and this video is more about Fabric Tasks. So once you have Fabric installed, you're going to want to go to these two sites. Once you're on the Fabric Task website, you're going to want to go to Files, and then scroll down and download this, the 1.0.1. It's going to say that it's like, oh, it's going to destroy your computer and stuff, but no, it's fine, keep it. It's just scary because it's a jar file. And then also going to want to go to this site, also linked in the description, and download it. The same thing it's going to say, oh, it's going to destroy your computer, but it's not, believe me. You're then going to want to type percent app data percent into uh, the search bar at like the bottom left of your computer. That should take you to here. You're then going to want to click on dot minecraft and then scroll down to your mods folder and inside of it you should put the fabric tasks and the fabric API. The auto type thing doesn't matter. Once you have the mods in the right spot, you can then go to the minecraft launcher and select fabric loader 1.16.1 and then press play. It should hopefully load up without any problems. If you do have problems, let me know in the comments. Alright, so now that we are in the game, I can show you how to task. One really handy thing is that if you press right shift, it brings up this fabric task GUI. Most important thing here is the tick rate slider. Normal Minecraft runs at 20 ticks per second. So if you want to have the speed of the game, you could set it to 10 tick rate. As you can see, the game's now a bit slower. You can also do the command slash tick rate set 10 in order to change it without the slider. You can also set different keybinds for different tick rates. There's another crucial tool for tasking, and that is save state. Basically what happens is that if I press save state here, I'll do a little save stating loading thing. Then when I come back, say I'm trying to like get over here, right? I accidentally hit this tree, and that makes me slower. Like, oh no, I messed up. Well, if I then press load state, I then end up right back here. You can use this to try different parts of your run as many times as you want, and then blend the different tries together in editing. There are a couple more things you can do with this menu. For example, you can have it always show your coordinates, have it always show what keys you're pressing, make you permanently invulnerable using glitches, make the world look super bright, even when it's like nighttime, and a bunch of different stuff with RNG. One thing you can do with the RNG menu is make it so that gravel always drops flint. One other thing you can do with RNG GUI is make sure that you always have a dream lock with either obsidian or ender pearls. One final thing you can do with this menu is that you can change the dragon phase. For example, if I wanted to perch to one cycle it, I can tell it to land, and it will. In the end, just be aware that if you do save state, then the dragon will teleport back up to its maximum height. So don't like try to come over and then save state right when it's about to do this so that you can one cycle it easier because then once you load the save it'll just teleport all the way up there if yeah, it wouldn't be good. Another thing about this mod is that you can set keybinds for almost everything. For example, if you couldn't get your task UI to open up earlier, try going into your controls and setting a keybind for it. I also have a keybind for the dragon to land, the save state and load the state, different tick rates, duping, which I'll talk about in a second, and vulnerability. Super helpful. So now, let's talk about how to dupe. First of all, you're going to want to have your items in your inventory. Then you're going to want to save and quit of the world saves with those things in your inventory. You then want to go and throw them on the ground, and then press your hotkey to dupe. I'll then do duping loading thing. When you come back, you'll find that you kept all the items in your inventory, and you'll pick up the ones on the ground. You can keep doing this, just make sure every time 
you save the world, go back into the world, drop them on the ground, H, or at least that's my duping hotkey. And pick them up again. Yeah. And yeah, guys, that's about it. Personally, I use Shotcut to edit everything together. I will also leave a link in the description to the Minecraft Tasting Discord. They can help you with more advanced tasking stuff, and they've helped me out a ton. They also have a ton of data packs for tasking, like ones that make blazer odds drop 100% of the time, as well as other things. You can ask me in the comments or anywhere in that Discord if you have any questions. That's going to be it for today, though. Have a wonderful day, take care, and good luck tasking. Bye-bye!